Thank you for watching this presentation. I am excited to talk about the East Civic Tower, a new iconic customer service centered building that's being designed for the city of Raleigh. A key driver for the master plan of this project is to make Raleigh a 21st century city of innovation. The goal of the master plan, which was developed in 2017-2018, was to look at the most effective way to consolidate services provided in downtown and create a vision for redeveloping the Avery Upchurch Municipal Complex on Hargett Street. The master plan outlines a three-phased approach for meeting these goals. East Civic Tower will be done in the first phase. However, when the entire campus is completed, it will be a walkable destination anchored by the tower. East Civic Tower will be at the corner of Hargett Street and South McDowell Street. The tower will be next to the current City Hall and will replace the former police headquarters at 110 South McDowell Street. The high-rise, iconic building will house 20 stories of municipal space, including a new City Council chamber. East Civic Tower will also merge our fragmented downtown workforce from five locations to one central location. Before we go into details of the project, I'd like to introduce the city staff and consultants who are working on this project. You'll see here that we have a dedicated team of city engineers, architects, and urban designers handling the logistics of the design and construction for the tower. This group coordinates with the project consultants as well as other city departments to ensure that we meet the design, space needs, and functionality for the tower. We are also working with several consultants to design the iconic building. This includes a partnership with local and international architectural design firms. Ratio Architects is located in Raleigh, North Carolina. Henny Larson Architects is based out of Copenhagen, Denmark. It was important to have a local and global perspective on the project so that we can build a tower that is forward thinking and also embodies who we are as a city. Part of the building process includes working with a construction manager at risk, which is also known as CMAR. City staff and the design consultants are coordinating closely with Brassfield and Gorey general contractors to plan for construction of the site. Brassfield and Gorey also will be working with Holt Brothers Construction to carry out construction tasks for the building. Now to give you a little bit more detail about the goals for the new tower. The project officially began with a programming phase, which included getting input from multiple stakeholders. This feedback was used to set cohesive and tangible goals for the project. We identified three main goals that are the foundation to a successful project. The first goal, provide public facing governmental functions and excellent, efficient customer service. This means you can easily access the building using wayfinding signs that will direct you to consolidated service areas. These services may include paying water bills, applying for a permit, and others. The idea is to create a one-stop shop experience that will make doing business more convenient. Goal number two. Create workspace that offers employees an opportunity to collaborate more easily with one another. As a city employee, I'm especially excited about this goal. We will be able to work more seamlessly together with all downtown employees under one roof. Goal number three, focus on security, safety, and accessibility. We are taking all the necessary steps to understand the realities of securing a 21st century government building and creating a safe environment for all who visit and work in the tower. As I mentioned in goal number one, the East Civic Tower will provide excellent, efficient customer service through a one-stop shop experience. Right now, employees are providing services across five different buildings in downtown. The buildings include the Raleigh Municipal Building, the Dillon Building, One Exchange Plaza, the professional building, and one city plaza. With the new tower, we will bring these services into one building. 
In doing so, you will be able to do business with us in one central location. Then once we had a general vision for the tower based on our three goals, we started the design for the project. The design phase is an ongoing process and includes developing concepts that reflect the goals that we have set. The design concepts encompass materials that reflect the region. This could be the warmness of our tree-lined streets or the colors and edges of stone from local quarries. We're also selecting materials that are resilient and sustainable. Public art created by Susan Narduli of Narduli Studios in Los Angeles, California. Interactive interior and exterior space. We'd like to create a space that represents democracy on display through the use of natural and artificial lighting and glass that activates the interior space. The exterior of the building will complement the interior with streetscape features that amplify the pedestrian experience. And finally, creating ease of access to the public service areas, including visible relationships to stairs, elevators, and the council chamber. People visiting the tower will benefit from the circulation outside of the council chamber. There will be gathering areas near outdoor amenities that people can use while attending a meeting. We have a comprehensive timeline for the project. As I mentioned earlier, the tower is included in the first phase of the master plan. In May 2019, we received approval to work with the architectural and construction manager at risk firms. Design started in January of 2020. Consultants are now working on construction drawings, technical specifications, and real-time cost projections. This work will continue through spring of 2022 with approval of the detailed design and construction documents. We're expecting to start construction in fall 2022 with the tower being completed in late winter to late spring or early summer 2025. These dates could change due to project or weather delays. The goal is to open the building to the public in the fall of 2025. I hope I conveyed the energy and integrity surrounding this project. It is an understatement to say that we are working carefully and efficiently to bring the iconic East Civic Tower to life. On a personal note, I look forward to standing on site and seeing this aspirational building in just a few years. We realize that a building of this magnitude takes time and careful planning and coordination. We appreciate your interest and patience. You can keep up with the project by visiting the city's website. We're also available to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you.